Big man. Uh, Michael Lindbergh. Actually, no, no, I'm going to John Lindbergh. Alright, so let's just talk about underhooks, okay? As he's passing here, okay, I need that he should go into a half guard, okay? Right now, this is more of a three quarter guard because his knees passed, but right now, let's see if he needs back here, okay? The underhook is this right here, and I want to pull him up on you here. This is not an underhook. The, the whole point with this underhook, I need to be able to break his posture, okay? And to be able to slide out, okay? What I want to do is I want to force his hands. We're going to do a little bit of a kind of, a little bit of a practice uh, drills here. My objective is to force his hands to the mat because this is my underhook, right? Across here. Sometimes you can get it here, often in no gi because you need to hook on something. Here, I don't really want to grab anything because whatever I grab is going to slip, whether it be lapel, unless I have this underhook, which is a little bit different, it works, but you got to learn to set it up. So, underhook, okay? And this is your position here. And my knees are pinching, I don't want my legs crossed. You can have them crossed a little bit, but here, okay, with my bottom leg over, all right? And I never want to do this right here. This right here, I can't squeeze with my knee, and he can fairly easily just pull that knee right through here. And that doesn't do me any good. Do not cross your feet, don't take your form. You need to at least, at, mo at most, have this position here where you're like shin to, uh, shin to Achilles, and then you can pinch on his leg. This left hand, okay, I want it going across the hip line. You can hook his hip, okay? And now what I want to do is, this hand right here, and I'll do it from a different angle, okay? I want to take like my left ear is under, it is by his belt knot, and my right hand is pushing his far knee out. And that's what I call his stability knee. <coughs> so as this whole structure moves, your arm is going to have to readjust the underhook. And I hook it with, again with that thumb knuckle. It's very effective. I don't only grab anything here, unless maybe you can grab pants or whatever and I keep pushing his knee out. He wants to push that knee forward, I keep pushing it out, because what happens is, is that I'm, I wanna throw my shoulders and I wanna start driving forward. I don't wanna get out from underneath him. I wanna take this leg, switch it as the top leg here. I wanna pull this leg out and I wanna keep driving forward as my right hand comes out and my left shoulder kept driving driving, driving, whether I staple this here, whatever it may be, I want to be on top. Not often are they going to flatten out, but just to give you as an example. So let's do this one right here. So, okay. Yeah, knee catch. Okay. So, half guard here, and then scoot it underneath, okay? This hand right here is going to be on the far knee. Far knee, near knee. It's always relative to whatever's closest. This right leg of his is the near knee, this is the far. So this, I want is the underhook of my left ear is kind of at his belt knot, and I want to drag him forward and push this knee out, because it forces him to have to put his hands on the mat. This, this hand right here, I want to hook his hip. I'm just moving his gi out of the way. I want to hook his hip so that I can cling onto him almost like a koala Okay, and I can begin to drive his way forward because it should be hard for him to lift his hands off the mat. Lift your hand off the mat, especially that right one. Yeah. So if he is able to lift his hand off the mat, he's gonna posture up and he's gonna probably wizard you and begin to counter this underhook here and do all kinds of stuff. It's gonna make it hard. So this is not a position for you to just sit in. It's a position for you to begin to slowly break him down. So. Oftentimes, if it happens off of a knee shield here, you're framing and there's that hole here. Driving forward, this hand pushes, pushes, pushes. Legs, this leg is on top, okay? This right one was on the bottom. I'm gonna switch the legs. This one is on top, pulling, and I wanna drive forward, 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 forward. So we get at least here, here, front headlock, whatever it may be, okay? Switch here. Start off, let's say, from my knee shield here. Set up here. You see how I squid it out here? This hand pushes that knee, drives it out. Now, see how the bottom leg 
is hooking his leg here. This arm is hooking his hip, okay? And this right leg needs to switch with the top leg so that I can bring this bottom leg out. Because if I don't bring this bottom leg out, I cannot get to my knee. So I begin to hook this and pull this so it makes it awkward and lifts this as I begin to crunch and drive forward, 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 forward. So I'm constantly having forward pressure. Seldom are you just going to take this hand and just push them off like a, like a hat. One more time. Whether you're in a knee shield here, in a knee shield here, and I block this, because I keep pushing this out for a couple reasons. This is his real stability knee right here, okay? If this, if I don't do anything with this hand, his knee is free to give him stability, okay? I need to be able to push this out because if I'm not doing anything with this hand, it should be underneath, and then you're going into a deep half or potential wrestler roll kind of sweeps and all kinds of stuff, okay? But what I want you to do is this hand, hooking this hip, your left shoulder, driving them. Let's see if I can tuck this into his belt right there. The lapels are getting in the way. Look, this hooking his hip, driving him forward with that shoulder. And you can test it with your partner's right arm primarily has to be on the mat, okay? Because then you feel weight shifting. John, can you take your right hand off the mat? Yeah, see, it's hard. Yeah, he, yeah see, he's got to switch with that hand. And you can tell how they're going to switch if you're just sitting here doing nothing, which I don't know why you're doing. If I begin to push this out, okay, this helps me come back up because now I switch my feet here. And as he begins to regain his stability, here, go ahead, drop that knee forward. That left knee begins to push forward and it pushes me up in all reality. I'm pushing it out, and as he brings it forward, come on down. So he can even start it from a knee shield here, and then he removes the shield, sits up right here, and then rolls me, forward. yes, right there. Then, yeah, keep pushing the knee out, yes. See right here, I, it's very difficult for me to get up. He switched his legs, yeah, right here, yes. Wait, wait, keep that hand on the knee. Yes. So he'll switch his legs. But I would wait. Yeah, see how you can push off now? And now turn your hips. Yes. Because now you can just drive forward and then begin to attack. Does that make sense? Professor, with that in the, uh, hand that's pushing the knee, is that also a situation where you can pull it to kind of top them over? Or? Uh, yes, you will do that, but you will do that next. Okay. Okay, so I want to do these three sweeps. So half guard here. So I got a half guard on him here, one here, and I'm going here, okay? And then he's driving this knee up, 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 up. I'm gonna go down underneath here, and I'm going to grab his shin with my left hand, right here, or even here. Because from here, I can begin to come up here, and then I can begin to do John's favorite <laughs> knee bar from here. So this is half guard to like a single leg. Okay. Let's do it. Forward here, push that, and they'll start driving that knee forward here. You slide underneath here, you can go right here. You can gable grip, clinch here, or if you can, you can feed this hand, to this foot to this hand here, or you can just grab this hand right here. Because now, when I switch my feet here, and I pull, I'm just going to slide back. And he's already going over. Just be careful with the knee in this position, okay? So your push on that knee you know, is going to get them to react. And what they do is, yes, yes, right here, slides out. And as he's pushing me, he goes here, yes, right there. Now, can you get your hands together or not? Um, I probably could. Yeah. That's fine. See, I'm already yeah. going over. And I don't have much balance. So at that point, if that's happening to me, I have to decide, am I gonna let him take me over? Or am I the one that's gonna choose to put myself on my back to already gain some kind of a position so that I don't let him just get the dominant ultimate position, okay? Whether you, ideally you wanna grab right here, 
not here because this I can still keep the foot. So we can go here and lead in the push right now. Yes, right there. So, so I go here, slide under, grab the foot. Yeah. Look, if you can, you'll reach it. Sometimes you can. Yeah, right there. Look at that. Now pull your bottom leg out and just turn your hip. You go perpendicular to the line where my knees are on right here. And then from here I would just pass. Yes. There you go. Good. Excellent. Okay? So we're gonna do that. Whether you cup it, palm up, or whether you reach and grab it with the left hand and keep it, bottom line is, or you grab. So you're here. You see how I reset that because it wasn't it wasn't deep enough here. Okay. And what I'm gonna I'm pushing here, he's driving it up. I go underneath here and you can just slide it here. You can even grab the pants here. From here, okay, I keep the hip. Because now he can't extend his left leg. Now all I need to do is my feet. They switch. So I put the top one over here and I begin to pull this one just at the, at the calf, like out that way, and it's awkward. And I see where his knees are in the line and I gotta go perpendicular. Right there. Here, 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 and here. And now you see how he's got that leg up and John, we're gonna do the leg hook. So that when he gets the underhook, get the underhook done. This is counting, because if he tries to get up, he needs to put that leg down, that left one. You need to, yeah, put it down to try to, and there's the counter with this. And then you can go here, 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 and begin to work, okay? So, sorry. Half guard. Try to bump them, pull them, push them. He drives it up. I can get here. I can get here. Or I can get here, or even here. Okay. If you can get deep enough, this one right here, where his shin is in your elbow pit, is is good. Okay. You can get here, but you have to be low around his leg right here, so you can catch that. So I can pull this arm out. Okay. And go up. I can be here, here. This is already too deep, as you see me catching it. This is if they don't. I'll catch it, palm up if he's a little bit far out that way. Like here, I can always go. But here, I can always go this way here. And then I reach here. So it's one, this, this. So I can pull my arm out and then start coming up on my right elbow. Okay, or just hold it here. Switch your feet here slowly. I'm gonna tweak his knee. Cause he'll be on his knees here, right there. So this, yeah, this heel will be up. So you have to tweak it this way here. See how awkward it is? So that this, you make this, his right knee light, and I pull out my right knee right here, and I start twisting. And he should go from perpendicular to his position of his knee. All right, let's try it. One, two, three. Very important to know, works gi and no gi. 